Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad, and thank you for watching my channel. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification right next to it. I try to upload videos weekly depending on my crazy schedule, and when I do, you'll be first to be notified through your email. If you haven't done so already, please visit my website at www.totalhealthdepage.com. In the upper right hand corner is a book now button. Please, if you want a free 15 minute consultation, hit that button. Fill out the forms. I'll be notified, and we're more than happy. I'll be more than happy to talk to you, either through a phone or Skype conversation. Today's video, I'm going to do one on selenium. Selenium is a big trace mineral that is depleted due to the soil. So, watch the video. Let me know what you think. Thank you. Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Jawad. In this short video, I'm going to talk about an essential mineral, selenium which is found in trace amounts. Now, you may be deficient in selenium without even trying. Why? Because this is the 21st century and we all know that the soil is nutrient poor. So you may be deficient in selenium and not even know it. So the, functions of selenium, the function of selenium is multifactorial. One, it acts as a powerful antioxidant. Two, it works with the reproductive system. Three, it helps DNA synthesis. Four, it helps with the thyroid function. Five, it boosts the immune response. So I'm just going to go over six benefits by increasing your selenium content in no particular order. So number one, heart disease. If you have low levels of selenium, now remember, one of the functions of selenium is to boost the immune response. You may increase your risk of heart disease or atherosclerosis by having low levels of selenium. Also, do cholesterol. Now, cholesterol is the arterial band-aid. It's for repair when we do have inflammation. So, one of the benefits of selenium, again, it boosts the immune response. So, by taking in selenium, you're going to decrease your systemic inflammation, which in turn will decrease the low-density lipoproteins, cholesterol, which is the first responders. Remember, the, when you when you have inflammation, that low density lipoprotein comes there first to patch up the hole. And then you have what's called the high density lipoproteins, which will come around and clean up and recycle the cholesterol. Okay, so this is why you may indicate that you have high LDL, which is called the bad cholesterol. Now, one thing for sure that if you take selenium, you want to pair it up with vitamin E and beta carotene. Next, the immune system. Remember, one of the functions is to, boost the, to, is to boost the immune response. And this does so because it boosts the what's called the white blood cell activity. We have white blood cells, that's the immune response. Those are like the first responders. That indicates on blood work that something's wrong with the body. It also slows down the progression of AIDS. Now remember, because selenium, if it helps boost your immune response, it's going to slow down the, the progression of AIDS. Next, cancer, okay? Now, what happens if you have low levels of selenium? It increases the risk of cancer. Which cancers? All cancers. Remember, there's no target tissue for which cancer is gonna hit. So, what happens is that the selenium, by increasing selenium, it goes into the nucleus of the cell where the DNA and the genome are stored. stored. And then it attaches to the protective antioxidants and it works to reduce and repair damage done to the DNA. Remember, selenium is for, one of the functions is to, is to boost the immune system. And if you have cancer cells, okay, it's gonna slow the progression. It may even just prevent it from happening in the first place. Next, asthma. Now, here's the one caveat. If you have low selenium, will you have asthma? No, not at all. Just found out that people who have chronic asthma ironically have low levels of selenium. So if you have a deficiency in selenium, could that be the reason why you have chronic asthma? Sure. Next, your thyroid gland. The thyroid gland, butterfly shaped gland, the base of your neck. It controls how we burn calories at rest. It helps how we break down foods, it helps stabilize the immune response. It pairs up with adrenal glands to again, stabilize the hormone system, so forth. Now, the good news is the thyroid gland stores selenium. However, if you are having a thyroid response, it's going to use up the selenium and the deficiency is going to cause a lot of problems. 
One of the problems is that it's going to affect the conversion of the inactive T4 to the active T3. So this may be one of the reasons why you're hypothyroid. Okay. Also, selenium protects the thyroid from antibodies. Now, antibodies meaning autoimmune responses, either Graves' disease, which is hyperthyroid, or Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disease that's affecting your thyroid gland. Okay, so it, what it does, again, it protects it from the antibodies. Now again, how do we get selenium? Selenium is, one of the things is always dependent on the soil. But it's found in seafood, it's found in meat, it's found in poultry, it's found in eggs. Now, one thing you want to make sure of, seafood, you want to make sure it's wild caught. Meat, poultry, and eggs, you want to make sure it's cage-free, range-free, grass-fed. Okay, so you want to get the most highly nutritious piece of, you know, source, which to provide your body with, with enough selenium. Now, sunflower seeds control, I'm, I'm sorry, contains a lot of selenium. But the number one food source out there that maximizes your selenium content is Brazil nuts. Just by having two Brazil nuts daily will maximize your body's needs for selenium. 544 micrograms of selenium. Okay, so again, if you want to supplement selenium, the adult dosage is 55 micrograms a day of selenium. So this may be one of the reasons why you're, thyroid, why you're having thyroid symptoms. This could be one of the reasons why you may go down the path of heart disease, your immune response, cholesterol is high, because if you're not looking at the nutrients that you're putting in your body and you're selenium deficient, this could be one of the reasons why you have all these symptoms. Okay, so I hope this helped. If you liked the video, please hit the like button down below. Please share with a friend. Please leave a comment if you feel you need to. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. Hey, it's, over the last couple years, my YouTube channel has grown tremendously and I can only appreciate it, the viewers who subscribe. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button to get the first up-to-date videos or you could always Google my name, Dr. Janan Jawad, and you could go to my JDoc Real Minute page. Again, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get the most up-to-date videos and thanks everybody who's watching. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.